Hello friends, and welcome back to DK64. It is time for the final cleanup of Creepy Castle. Just gotta get our last batch of bananas, or should I say bunch of bananas, as it were. And then we can tackle the boss of this world, and we can leave, and that'll be it for the seven main worlds of the game. Like, we'll have all the things. Like, for those worlds at the very least, but we'll have them. Isn't that exciting? We're, we're just about at the end here. Like, this is it. All right, so let's begin getting ourselves out of the cave here, because I think there wasn't anything further. And we're gonna begin climbing our way up. Now, the best way to do that is with our flight expert, Diddy Kong here. We just have to find our way either to a jetpack or back up top, and I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. There was a blueprint over here. I knew it. Tiny. Okay. I had this inkling that there was something on the very, very lowest part of the level, and I was right. It was indeed a blueprint for Tiny. So we're going to go get that. And then we'll have our flyby fiasco with Diddy. Okay, this is good. This will take me back to this. Come now, Diddy. Uh, but uh, we want Tiny. And we'll just use this to go back down. Actually, just for my sake, this wasn't anything of importance, was it? Was this the other way in? I think this was the other way in. Yes. So, nope, didn't miss a thing. Or at least that's my assumption. So... Go down here, and I think there was one more that we go down right there. We just make our way over here, nice and simple. And we rock out on the sacks, because I'm not going over there and fighting that Kasplat. That platform is way too small. Okay, and I think that's where we came into the world, so I don't have to worry about going over there, because that's the start. Okay, that is the Diddy jetpack that I am looking for. Now that we got that all taken care of. So there are definitely going to be things on the very tip top of the level. I. I'm like 90% certain of that. But being able to do the jetpack flyby will let me scout everything out. And then once that's taken care of, we just slowly make our way up the world. I know there are going to be a few shenanigans I'll have to worry about, but that's not going to be a big problem. At least I don't think so. So now, it is time to fly! Okay, so we can make this nice and simple and we just casually go around the level and see if there's anything in the shade of red that I have to worry about. Aha! It is... Crystal caves all over again. That's another door. We got that one. So that one won't be bugging me for the rest of the game. I do still have to get Lanky's blueprint. Okay, so Warp Pad 2 also had one. Okay, did he coins? Don't have to worry about coins. I don't have to buy anything else in this game. 
And that's a good feeling. Okay, of course a few switches I'll have to deal with. Yep, there is definitely a lot going on in this world right now. I can feel the lag. Okay, so that's a Diddy Kong challenge. And then I think the game tricks you with this DK switch here. You hit this to go to that lower exit, and the switch over here is in front of the exit of that section. All right, so we've made our way back to the top, this accursed tower. Oh yeah, isn't there? Yes. Cloud platforms. You have got to be joking. Well, don't mind me. I have to go down to go up to go way up. At least I got those bananas. At least I did see that uh, jetpack barrel at the two warp. So now, going down, we go up, and go way up! <laughs> That's one way. Alright. Please don't be the challenge I think it is. It is not the challenge I thought it was, okay. All these minigame barrels and stuff. Getting like a mini heart attack every time. Got you. Thought I had you on that one. It's like actually trying to swat flies in real life. I swear this minigame has trained my reflexes enough when it comes to like swatting flies or other bugs out of the air. Okay, good. Now for anyone who heard my comment a second ago, so there's another uh, minigame and I know I've uh, I've done a few of these already. It's uh, Minecart Madness, so the one where you're on the track with the TNT barrels. And I'm not looking forward to possibly having to do another one of those because it is a it's a tricky mini game. Like I said, it's my second least favorite mini game, but at the very least, I can say that mini game is easy to figure out once you get a rhythm. I can get that in like three or four tries. So, since I'm already here with Diddy, I figured I might as well just hand in the blueprint. 184, look at that. Oh, and there we go, Diddy's got all the blueprints. It's not a tag barrel at this immediate point. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead. Since I've already got Diddy up and running, we're going to go down here. And we are going to tackle the challenge that will appear in this section. That is right there. Nope, that's the DK one. It certainly is a long way up and down, let me tell you. Up and over. Diddy Kong, right there. A very central location with that tag barrel, so this is good. I can take Donkey Kong up for a spin after this. 
All right. I do think I know what challenge awaits here. Well, the camera being the big challenge. Once again, another fantastic track. It's like, how do you make a haunting ballroom? This is how you do it. Uh, oh. So I gotta find a way to banana port Tiny in here at some point. Or Tiny comes in here using the banana port. So, reminiscent of the candle challenge from Crystal Caves, that's exactly what I gotta do here. Time to fly! And I did see a balloon over there briefly. Right? I wasn't just faking myself out, I was not faking myself out. There's banana metal! Sometimes the best method to do this is just go straight and do it. Oh no, another barrel. I really am getting like mini heart attacks every time I see a barrel. Where's the barrel? There it is. Oops. Is this the game I was thinking of? It is the game I'm thinking of, no! <laughs> Minecart Mayhem, I don't like you. Okay, th this looks like only two? Okay, it's only two. But I'm guessing that might be a little bit more difficult. I just have to play the paths right. Oh, I should have sped up. What was I thinking? But like I said, I can I can figure this out. I just have to see how the carts move, and maybe if I can single them out together, then I will be fine. Okay. A little extra zoom. Let's go on the lower one here first, like I did last time, but then we'll move out. you both here. Then I can zoom in on this one. Do that. Zoom that way. You're trapped. You're trapped. I'll go into the front one. Oh, shoot. No, I think I'm gonna lose. No! <laughs> I miscalculated that lane. <laughs> All right, let's try again. See, like this is this is a loss that I'm okay with. It's like I can learn a little bit. It's not entirely random. There is a little skill involved, but I can learn and adapt, and it works. Not like Beaver Bother. And I just lost it. I made a wrong turn. And at least it's funny enough to me, you know? Like, I'm smiling with this one. Okay, thank goodness it wasn't three TNT barrels. I legitimately thought this was gonna be like three TNT barrels. And I was, uh, getting a little scared. Okay, we got you there. Get out to this one. We come out top. Okay, we split you. Go on to the inside. Now I zoom this way, that way, and I go right into a TNT barrel because I thought I was still on the third track. <laughs> Let's try again. There's a lot of mayhem in this place. If I can just get them on the same track, like that is that is a tactic if you can plan things out right. Try to get them on 
stay there. Oh my goodness, you, you faked me out. I moved to the other track game. What are you thinking? Well, if I can manage that and get them both on the same track like I did there, then it's no different than doing the one TNT barrel in uh, the first world. Maybe if I can just lure them. Okay, you went out there and you went right into my face. Okay. I can do this. I know I can. Welcome to bonus stage. Okay, if I just did what I did before, go to the inside track. And I messed up again. I don't know what it is, just I get a, I get a little bit impulsive. Maybe it's just having failed enough times, it's like, come on, I know I can get this, just... Like, start me at 30 seconds at a point where I know I was safe, you know? Stay in the outside track then, I guess. Okay, I stayed in the right one. Oh, shoot, I think I made the wrong, wrong choice. Ah, they both went into the same track again. If I can make that same setup, I could maybe do something. I, I just have to get them timed proper. I know I can do this. Like, this is the last difficult minigame in my books. I pass this, then that's it. On the middle track, so I'll stay there. I just if I can get you. I think I got the setup right. Speed me around here. Okay, I'm doing all right. Oh, good. You went on the inside. Why did you do that? Stayed on the third track. Oh, sh I should probably speed by there. Good. All right. I don't think there's any way I lose at this point. I knew that was the strategy if I wanted to make this easier, and I did it. Ah, we got that one done. Okay, no other track. So... Eventually, I have to find a tiny uh, banana port that takes me into this room. Just to get those bananas. But Diddy Kong is done. For those, at least. But I'm still 15 bananas short. So where am I missing them? They gotta be somewhere. Hmm. Hopefully they're not in, like, a separate subsection that I overlooked. What about... Okay, this is tiny and lanky. Let's play this a little safe. Let's get the Kongs out from this one. Like, I am... Here, I'll, I'm going to show something really cool. I think I briefly displayed this. You can actually come over here and hover above the uh, pad to see how many bananas that have been paid. I thought it was how many bananas each Kong individually had. Whoopsies. Okay, 400's the total. Time to do some math. 65 plus 70, that's 135. That's 220. That's 305. That's 380. I am 20 bananas short of being able to pay up everything to face the boss. Why, yes, I can do math that fast in my head. Okay, time for tiny to get tiny. And we got another challenge ahoy. 
My goodness, I would hope I can find a banana fairy soon. I need a recharge. Ooh, so close. What's in here? Well, what's in here is now going to die. Squish. <laughs> Come in here, play instrument, get banana. <laughs> Sometimes they just have to be that simple. Okay. So there was just the five colored, right? There was no hiding secret here. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now we'll do a lanky. Now, if memory is serving me right, this location that I'm going to here also has the K. Rule Arena. So let's go take care of that. In we go. Might be something Chunky has to get into. I don't know if that's going to be an exit for Lanky or not. So in this maze, there is a golden banana, but I think we're on a time limit. Yes. So don't worry about collecting things right now. You can go back if you reach the end at the appointed time. And see, there's even an orang stand barrel there if you need it. Okay. Well, good news. That's all the colored bananas. So I just need to go get Lanky's blueprint, and Lanky will be set. But we must go back into the maze, for another challenge awaits. Thankfully, not on a time limit. Good luck, me! Pinnacle pa Pinnacle Palaver? That's a new word for me. And I've played this game a lot. Why is this a new... Why is that a new word for me? Okay, good news. Lanky is the same as Diddy. My dash attack can just stun them. Ooh, those, no. Take you out. Aha, shockwave. No. No shockwaves allowed from you in this arena. Just keeping our mechanical croc friend happy there, because uh, he's a quick respawner. Two, one, done. And that is the K. Rule Arena crown. All right, let's get our way out of this maze. If I can remember the way out. <laughs> Disoriented me as soon as I came in. This is the right way, yes. Okay, and the great news, having gotten all the colored bananas, I don't have to imagine there be anything else in here. Okay, that takes me out of back way, so that makes me think this is a chunky related challenge right here. So I'm gonna come back to warp four in a moment. Because I have to make my way down here a tad. To find the lanky print. Oh, 
Or at least I think it was this far down. Let's find out. I do know that I can just jump down and get the uh, uh, warp pads here in just a second. That's the right idea, but it didn't work. Can't believe I timed that just enough to not uh, bite it. All right. Let's just make our way back up here. And we'll just take the warps back. I can make a quick climb, no worries. Be a little easier for me if I do a climb up. You're gonna fall down here in just a second, aren't you, Bridge? Aha! I knew it! I knew it! Game is out to get me. Oh, I will be so glad when I'm out of this nightmare infested place. Speed across the bridge, that's the answer. So we'll get the lanky print. And then we will... Well, maybe I'll, uh... Eventually make my way back up to Snide again, just to get that, uh... Five on Lanky all taken care of. One, two... And bye-bye you! Okay. Oops. Didn't need to do that. She's jumping up these steps. It's like the stairs into Dongo's Cavern of Ocarina of Time. Unless you backflip up them, it's not easy. Alright. Chunky! I require your assistance. Warp Pad 4. It is time. So if I'm right... Curse Smack! Funnily enough, I think that fooled me for ages. Oops. Haha! <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh. Bats of invisibility. Interesting. But, can I still take them out with music? <laughs> Sometimes the simplest solution is the best. Music really does solve all the problems. Okay, now there's nothing else in here, right? Right. All right, then we had a switch down here, so we'll go handle that one. There we go. Into the museum. What awaits in here? Does my memory have anything to go off of? Okay, that I remember. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's a banana fairy over there. I think that'll be the golden banana location. All right. I have some vague memory of this. I thought that would work. All right, so I'm still missing five 
colored bananas. Hey now, they're supposed to be in front of me. Ooh, do I have to snipe some targets? Okay, I get the feeling. It, okay, I think if I remember this right, something opens this mouth up, there's a boulder. Oh. Ah, okay. One, two, three. Okay, well at least that was another hit them in order. There we go. I've summoned the boulder! And then I will pick it up with relative ease. And also have all 100 colored bananas. There we go. So then that'll weigh the switch down, which then lets me come over here. And banana is mine. Okay, okay, we're doing good. That means Chunky and Lanky, I think, are complete. So I still got to get some things in here with Tiny. But that actually is I have to find another area to warp in from. So this is merely Tiny just going into locations using the banana port. The fun part is finding the banana port. I'm not sure if I remember where it is. All right, uh, what do I need to do? I'm gonna go to warp five. Because I'm gonna go hand in what blueprints I have. Or actually, no, I get the feeling that uh, what I'm gonna do next with uh, Donkey Kong will hand me the blueprint that I'm looking for. So we will just work with that. Now then, I will have to make my way back and down. Again, I'm still worried about the location of those Diddy bananas, because it's like... I've got all of Diddy's golden bananas, so... At what point am I, like... Gonna have to make concessions with where the colored bananas are located? Unless there's, like, a secret exit or cavern that I have not visited yet. Oh, really? Gonna put that one on a timer? Jerk. At least I made it. All right. Don't get scared now. Reading is totally fine. You don't have to be scared to pick up a book. All right, two different ways to go about this. Two challenges, perhaps? Oh no, books! All right, so I need at least one more balloon. And then Donkey Kong will be good. Is that it for this one? Ah, summons a switch. Does this open up the other path? It does! Okay. Oh, I think I remember that one. I need Strong Kong for that path. we go. Actually, I will take those crystal coconuts, because I'm probably going to need a few of those. Let's go! Cheeto, no. Don't hurt me. Okay. That's that one. And that did not give me a blueprint. But I think... 
I'm about to eat a lot of hits here as I try to go back and get Strong Kong, which is fine. They're only taking a quarter heart from me. I think that coconut switch just gives me an exit. Yes, that takes me to the exit that was the uh, start way of the switch. Okay. And that is good for Donkey Kong. So, what was it that I needed right now? Oh, he got his blueprint. My goodness, how I missed that. Does that mean everyone's got theirs? Everyone has their blueprint, okay. Also, uh, who messed with the lighting? There we go. The lightning was lagging for a second, I guess. All right, so we're gonna hand in the blueprints here. Just so I've got their numbers all figured out out. Take that. So we are in the midst of doing the final challenges of Creepy Castle. It's just figuring out uh, where Tiny gets in on all this. And 15 bananas for Diddy, which can very well mean another flyby around the place, and I'm not looking forward to that. I might have to locate some caves. Which, that might not be a bad way to start. Well, that was 191, so we are getting super close now. Oops. No! <laughs> oh my goodness, the... The lag that is going on right now is something. Now, some people might have noticed, it's like, my goodness, how fast are you moving? It's like, is this, is this the lag? Well, it's actually a, we'll say, clever trick that was done by the uh, uh, developers of the game. So, in order to compensate for lag, the game, when it, when you move your character, when anything moves, it compensates for lag by making things happen faster. So in this area right here, there's there's not a lot of lag. So everything happens at what the game assumes is regular speed. But as soon as we get to areas of higher lag, it means that the, the game has to compensate for making me want to move a certain distance. So it calculates when, like where I'll next appear on screen at like the point the game can register it. And it looks like I'm moving faster as a result because it's like it has to take in more time to uh, calculate where I would be at this point. So like there, I just made a, I just made a huge leap across there, but that's what the game had to do to calculate where I would be. But it does make for some interesting moments. And actually that is what uh, needs to happen for, uh, you to go out of bounds in certain areas in this game. So we'll get Tiny's handed in here, and then I think Lanky is the only one that needs to hand in one after. But yeah, I think I, I memory is serving me right. I think I do have to go either to another cave or somewhere underwater. We'll find out. One ninety-three. There are eight golden bananas left to collect in this game. Yeah, Lanky just has to hand in the blueprint, and we're solid. So, like you saw there, there was a point where it looked like Tiny just like flashed across the screen for a bit. Like, the game wasn't able to show that Tiny was there, but it compensated by making her next couple of frames really fast. And it, it'll make it look like the game's going fast, but it's actually, like, it's still proper speed. So 
So it, it's a way of saying everything still works even when it's super laggy, it just looks like everything's going fast as a result. Look at that. 194. And as I said before, there is one blueprint remaining, which will be Donkey Kong's blueprint hiding in the hideout helm lobby. So I'll still have a little work to do once I get up there. So, I'm gonna have Tiny show up here. And I need to have a look here. So she still needs one golden banana. And you still need 15 colored bananas. Uh, which means I probably am going to have to do a flyby at some point. I really do think it is just somewhere underwater that I have to go here for this next one. We'll find out. I'll take more crystal coconuts, though. If I have to do another jetpack flyby, then they'll work. All right. Was there another door around here? I don't think so. Oh, there was that one. Let's just go re-explore a few caves here. Let's make sure I'm not losing uh, track of things. So I don't think there was anything I had to worry about here. Yeah, this was just too funky. There was nothing there. That led to the other caves, which I've already dealt with those, so I don't have to do anything with that. <laughs> oh, you're on a rope there. I guess I can't hit you. Oh, well, carry on. Uh, you were warp one. Any details? Yep, you were just the back way. Dealt with that. That was the side entrance, which I know I've dealt with everything in there. That's the way to Candies. Nothing hiding up there. So I guess that one was a bust. Is there anything under the water. Let's have a look. Okay, not on that one. There is the tree that did have that first Barrel Blast minigame. Hmm, might have just went backwards for that one. Okay, so that, do that took me back there. Okay, I might have to do another climb up. Just to make sure I'm not losing things. There was probably a spot that Tiny could enter, and I've just completely lost sight of that. So I'm I think I'm going to do another climb up. As soon as I find a way up, there we go. Yeah. I mean, this level is certainly good at being a final level of the world. It is very disorienting, definitely has some of the hardest challenges in the game, so it's pretty good for being a final level. Alright, let's try this again. 
Okay, I'm gonna do it from pad two. All right, game, what do you got? More trough. That was not a trough and scoff. Okay, that was the next one. Yeah, there's nothing hiding behind a cranky lab, is there? No, no, there isn't. I really do feel like I've just gotten disoriented. Alright, that takes us back to the chunky uh, pad. That takes me here. Huh. That's Diddy's. This is just a stretch idea. Because it did say... Tiny. Uh, there was a tiny pad in there. This wouldn't be the solution, would it? Open it with Diddy. Quickly replace with Tiny. And go in. Okay. A little outside the box, but that works. So I'm like, the only way that this could work is getting either Tiny has to come like through another banana port in here to get the bananas, or Tiny comes in and uses this banana port. So this one actually takes you to a separate area. Oh, it looks like I have to go in under. So we'll get this first. That is a definite no. Hold on. Put some distance between us. Nope. Even if you flew by at the flash, that I don't think that would have worked. That'll get ya. All right, well that takes care of that one. Now that's every banana fairy for the level, right? Yes. I just need the remaining colored bananas to say this is complete. We're gonna go in here first and then we'll take care of that banana port pad behind there. So what's in here? Oh no! I thought I was done with this, but I forgot about this one! Uh, shiny banana, but if you can beat me another two lap race and get ten coins. Said to speed up, steer. Okay, and slaloms. Oh great. This is like hovercraft. Trying to control this thing, my goodness. Gave me false hope with those coins. This might take a hot minute. And I wanted to be done with Frantic Factory after the arcade fiasco. Not a lot of wiggle room on this one. I'll have to take a few turns. I don't think I'm going to be able to win. No. I'm restarting. I could... The controls are too uh, loose. At least I think. Uh. 
mean, as long as I just take it careful, I'm fine. And he didn't say I could cheat this time, so I don't think I've got any misses. But I can miss gates. That's the big ticket trick. Can't miss many more now, though, but I can miss. Not what I wanted to happen, but oh well. Hey, you hit the box. You were supposed to blow up. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Dare I say even a little fun once I got the hang of it. It's not fair. Trust me, I have gone through worse in this game. Make joy with the fact that I found your game fun. Okay, well we got that challenge done. Everyone's got all their golden bananas, but now I just need to find where colored bananas would be located. I don't know, if, I don't think there's anything that has to do with this. No, I think this was just another room to fake you out. Okay. So, I have to locate some colored bananas for Diddy. I hope that they're not somewhere that I have completely overlooked. Because I know I got all the ones that were on the flames. They would have been nothing over here, right? Yeah, these were just surrounding camera films. Crystal coconuts, I will definitely... Oh, that's right. Now that I have gotten a refill, I don't have to worry. So, I am going to have to spend a little time locating these last couple colored bananas. Which is probably going to mean another flyby. I can't think of where they would be, though. Because, like, I I thought I was fairly thorough with all of the areas I'd explored as Diddy Kong, so... Huh, well, we're gonna have to see here. Um, I'll spare the time here, and I'll just say I'll join you back when I've located where the bananas are, so I'll see you in a hot minute. Uh huh. okay. There's one on the post there. I'm going to assume one more on the post over here. Nope, just crystal coconuts. But that does mean I am at one balloon left. So let's see how long that search goes on for. Ah, okay. Good thing I decided to retrace my steps a little gonna make me do that okay yeah I I went around the level quite a bit and I was like what is the uh, what is the game making me want to do here so then I just like okay retrace my steps let's see let's see where it is and here we go Jeez, and I thought I was doing much better at my usual systematic cleanup oh well we got all the colored bananas now. That's everything for Creepy Castle. So, I do know that there is a convenient trough and scoff portal over here. So we're gonna make use of that. All right. Well, let's get our payments made and get into this last boss fight for the end. So I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit more in this episode after the boss because there's there's a little bit more cleanup to do in uh, DK Isle. A few things I haven't done yet. 
few things that are just going to need to be collected before I actually enter Hideout Helm. And then uh, we'll be set for the end of the game. And I can't believe it. After all of this, we're just about at the end now. Like, this is amazing. Like, I know that the game has thrown a few curveballs here and there for sure, but... I've still had a good experience playing this game. So we just have to get through the last little bits of feeding here. So the boss for this world is one that all five Kongs can actually get in on. Uh, I don't remember who starts it off. It might be Lanky. But uh, this is something that all five Kongs can, if depending on how well things go, can participate in. Just depends on how skillful the player is at maneuvering the boss fight itself. So we'll see how well this goes. Final payment has been offered. All right, now, is it Lanky? It is Lanky, okay. See, this would have been the one boss fight where you could have literally had anyone show up on that door and you would have been fine. Like, I could get the World 6 DK one, because it's like, oh, DK had the easiest boss fight, let's uh, give him a harder boss fight uh, halfway through the game and make up for it. This boss you could have actually done completely random, and I think it would have just made it that much more fun. So here we go with one of the more interesting bosses in this game, because all this is, is a literal cutout of K. Rule. So you could actually say that the boss is uh, these two critters right here. Okay, so are you gonna drop right away? You are not? So the whole point of the boss fight is to launch ourselves into uh, Captain Cutout here. I think that's the official name. Now, of course, they will... Uh, start putting in a few more tricks. So I think it's... Yeah, three stages, three hits each. And if we hit cutout, we get, get a successful hit. If we miss, uh, the Kong is taken out of the fight for the rest of the match. So we effectively have five lives. So here we go, that's three hits, so now the cutout loses one of the arms. So, at this point, now we have fake outs. So if you look, the uh, actual cutout will appear more solid. I dodged that, and you know it, game. So, let's see if I can get one to show up. So, that's the real, and I'm not going to take this opportunity to show the fake, because I think I did on the first shot. No. Alright, do we get another... So that's the real. I'll show quick there. That's the fake. As you can tell, it looks like a shadow. So there we go. That's the other arm off. So now we're in the final phase. Which is... How quick are your reflexes? This is the one where you could very well lose lives on. are you going to pop up on? Two, three, four. All right, that's the first hit. Doing good. <laughs> this boss can be the easiest or the hardest, depending on how good your reflexes are. All right, next 
round. Two, three, four. All right, we're eight straight. That's pretty good. Could we have a perfect Captain Cutout fight? Let's find out. Two, three, four, five. And there we go. That is a perfect Captain Cutout fight. And thankfully, these critters down here realize, oh, um, I think we lost. Run away. Run away. Run away. And there we go. Key number seven acquired. And of course, we need to get out of here because there are still enemies around. We can, in theory, lose. But Creepy Castle is done. Right? I've gotten all the things, all the medals, all the fairies. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I've done all the things in the other levels, right? I'm not forgetting anything. All right, so DK Isles, I'm still missing five bananas, which one of those is a blueprint, and a banana fairy, which I do know where that is. So I still have to do a little hunting around the aisles. And I know I've done everything in all the other lobbies at present, so I need to make a quick visit to K Lumsey, and then we will get our final challenges underway. As we jump back into the water! Right. I'm coming, K Lumsy. Don't worry. Let's get these keys handed in for you, buddy. So this will open up the hatch on the top of K. Rule's tower, which will allow us into the lobby of World 8. The adventure is finally nearing its end. My goodness, we have made it to the last world. Or actually, I should say this begins opening it up. Not quite, that's right. That's what the game does for you. It's like, oh, you get one key? Oh. We'll, we'll fake you out a little bit here. And then once we get the second key, it's like, oh, hang on, let me jump around just a little bit more here. And we open the hatch up fully. Boom. And there we go. No further questions. So I do know to get to the top there, I do need to use Tiny's Banana Port. Oops. Wrong Banana Port! I need to be Tiny. So we'll see what happens here. So that's just a quick way for me to get here, but I do know that I have to actually go to the back side of the island over here. As you can see, this banana port here has been here the whole time. And this takes us right to the top. Oops. Hang on. That's a banana fairy there. I need, oh, I got it, nice. I thought that was a miss. Okay, well that's the last Banana Fairy of DK Isle. Now I think this gives me a Golden Banana and does something in the overworld too. There's something I've been waiting to happen for quite a bit. Uh, look at this, it's one of Cranky's special barrels. So I think this is a chunky barrel that this gives? Yes, so I will be making uh, a visit there. Okay. So Tiny has one more to get. And that's not counting the special banana that you can get uh, from handing in all the banana fairies. This is an actual fifth banana she doesn't currently have. 
Oh, right, Gloomy Galleon. I cannot believe I forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I definitely want this. I actually forgot about Gloomy Galleon this whole time. Wow. Okay, so I need Donkey Kong. Wow, that, that was the one I have forgotten this whole time. That is kind of shocking. So we'll do that. Got you, so this brings down a bridge. No fighting, Your Honor. This time, just music. So there we go. That is Donkey Kong's final blueprint. And that'll be Donkey Kong's final banana. So now I also need to do this, because that brings forth a bunch of invisible things. And then there's one last showing of B Locker. But of course, we can't end the shenanigans without one last regular Welcome mini game. Let's go. I'll be honest, there was something I saw in a previous episode that I had never realized. I thought it was a fluke, so I, I didn't want to say anything about it. But I didn't know that hitting the red Kremlings actually got you two points. I think in all my years of playing this, I've never paid attention to that. So, hey, look at that. I am learning something about my f old favorite games. That is such a good feeling. All right, so Donkey Kong's got a blueprint. Tiny has the thing in Gloomy Galleon, and Chunky has that barrel. We are all accounted for. Look at that. So let's go do our final cleanup here. So if I aim this right, I can have Diddy. Uh, I can have Chunky squish himself down a bit. We'll pay one last visit to Snide, and of course we're gonna make it the long one. But this is the most convenient location for Snide. But this will do it. That is all of the blueprints in the game. Now. If for anyone who has never played this game, if you do remember from the uh, very first time we ever met Snide, uh, he did make mention of how the blueprints, besides the Golden Banana awarding, will also benefit us something in the future. That will come into play as soon as we enter Hideout Hell. I'll wait and talk about that more on the last episode, because, hey, we're getting to a finale here. Hideout Helm is near. And also, if we want to, we can play any of the older games. Not you! <laughs> but we can play all those other games if we want. But here is a completed blueprint. But there we go. Snide is taken care of. So we're going to use Chunky next, because if I remember, Chunky has to hit a switch in Gloomy Galleon. I cannot believe, for as long as it's been, I completely forgot about Gloomy Galleon. So here we go. Over to this island that had one of the first banana fairies we ever took a snapshot of. We get this a random Chunky Barrel. And some people might have gone, hey, what's that island off in the distance? It's just a giant platform that we just have to bring Chunky over to and smash it into the water. And by doing so, boom. Oh, 
Look at that. That'll be one of the last golden bananas we collect in this game. So let's make our way back inland. And of course, the game then gives us the opportunity to walk around DK Isle as giant chunky. Coming through! And there we go, that's banana number 199. So now, let's just make our way back to Gloomy Galleon. Make way, Chunky coming through! Oops, nope, I'm going under the island. Jeez, and I th again, I thought I was so thorough on doing the uh, the lobbies that I I I'm, I made a note to come back here, and what do I do? I completely forget until what I'm hoping is the penultimate episode of this playthrough. <laughs> All right, where is Tag Barrel? You're over here, tiny. No. I must be on land to make the jump. Making this easy for me, Kisplat. You know what, just for that? One, two, I'm through with you. And I'm also through with the camera right now. This is terrible. All right. Now let's do the swim through the pipe. And there it is. Banana. Number 200. All golden bananas collected by all Kongs in all areas. Regular, assuming. So now there is only the 201st secret golden banana left to collect, but we can't get that until we've explored Hideout Helm. So I'm gonna make my way back up there real quick, because I do have to get up there via banana port. Up and over. We'll go this way. This way's not explored very often. I like walking on the paths least explored. Now we'll make our way up, just like last time. In we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get through this little section here. Just like before. We'll make our way over to Bee Locker here, and then we'll set things up for the last episode. One, two, three, four, five, and we're here. Come on, I haven't got all day. This is the last time. Now let me go home. And with that, I think that is the perfect spot for the beginning of the finale on the next episode. Look at that, 200 golden bananas. We have collected every single one. Only a few of them gave us trouble, but there we go. That is a completed collection of the regular golden bananas. We have finally achieved what we have set out to do since the beginning of the game. And next episode will begin the end. So I hope you will join me on the finale next time. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe and have a good day.